Hi, my name is Dillion. I do a lot of technical writing and content creation and I document all my ideas on Notion. In this video, I'm going to show you how I manage uh, my content from technical writing to every other forms of content that I create. I'll show you how I manage them from the idea stage to the publishing stage. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, my name is Dillion and on my space here I share tips around technical career from my experience and also experiences around my life. So if these are things you are interested in, kindly hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate that. In this video, like I said, I'll be showing how I manage my contents on Notion, like how I go through every stage of this is an idea, how I document the idea, the notes that I add and how the um, at how the content goes through different stages until I publish it. I'm going to be showing you that. In this video, I'll be focusing more on my articles, but I'll also show you a bit of how I also manage every other forms of content that I do from Instagram posts to uh, my videos to my talks, my newsletters. You are all going to see that in this video. First off, I use Notion for different parts of my life for my personal life, for my businesses, even for fun stuff like movies I want to watch, uh, the plans I'm taking care of. I add all those information there. I find Notion easy to use, especially when I'm just dropping things that I want to refer to or come back to. But I don't use um, Notion for setting reminders or time events because it doesn't work like a time tool, at least for me. But if it's just something of references or documentations, it works really, really great. So without further ado, let me jump into Notion and show you how I do this thing. Okay, this is Notion. And like I mentioned earlier, I use Notion for literally so many parts of my life. And I have some of the pages here blurred out because they are confidential pages. But the pages I would be focusing on for this video, actually the main page I'll be focusing on for this video is the article ideas page. But I'm also going to highlight other forms of content that I do and how I use Notion for that. Uh, the first one is the talk ideas. So this is where I document my ideas for talks at conferences or virtual events and stuff like that. I haven't really done so much on this page. As you can see, I only have one talk here which I've actually published. Uh, but yeah, this is a dedicated page for that. And I have status to kind of track the talk, if it is backlog, if I haven't done the talk yet, or I haven't prepared the talk at all, or if it is a published talk. And um, I'll come back to article ideas as this is the main focus. So down to the video ideas, <clears throat> I have this here. So this is, I have different views. These are all views. Um, just to add, I won't exactly be explaining how to use Notion because Notion can be used for the basic things and even for advanced things. You could probably check up documentations online or maybe I can create a future video on that. Anyways, I have different views here and this is the all view. This all view basically has all the video ideas that I have added to this table. And then I also broke this down into different views so I can see the videos that I haven't yet published. And if you see the filter here, the filter here is basically status not published. So I have different status for videos. There is the backlog, writing the script, ready for recording, recording and published. So this view here shows the one that I haven't published yet. Uh, this one shows the one I have published and also I have two YouTube channels if you do not know you are currently on the Dillion Mikita channel I also have the Decode channel which is strictly for tech, code and programming so I also create views for them so that I can know if, if I want to pick a video for Decode for example I can come to this view here, pick an item from here if I want to pick for Julia Megida, I can come here and pick an item. I mean, like, as you can see here, this is an item. Show how I use Notion for my article and video ideas, which I am currently doing now. So this is how I document my video ideas. I also have code snippets and content ideas. And um, if you do not know, I currently have an Instagram channel. I think this is also an opportunity to promote myself. So I have an Instagram channel, um, Decode, which you can see on the screen currently. And on Decode, I share tech tips every day on React, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, all of those fun stuff. So this is the place I use to um, document my ideas for things I want to push out. So I have the unpublished Instagram 
uh, which I cannot show you because I have some ideas there and I don't want you to steal them. But unpublished Instagram is a view where I um, collate or I filter the ideas that I haven't yet published on Instagram. And this view here is on published Twitter. So what I do is when I publish on Instagram, I also try to republish them on Twitter. So as you can see here, this ones have is all of them here have a status of published IG. So I have published them on Instagram and now I have to publish them on Twitter. So this is how I keep track of what hasn't gone on Twitter yet. I also have unpublished YouTube shorts and um, I have the one for unpublished LinkedIn also. And for newsletter ideas also, I just this isn't this is a, a table here where I also keep ideas of things I would like to show in my newsletter. I have a weekly newsletter. Uh, you can subscribe. I really appreciate that. The link is um, on the screen. But yeah, this is how I also keep my ideas for my newsletter. And um, that's pretty much every other thing. So let's jump back to the article ideas, which is literally the main one for this video. And my article ideas here, uh, I have this column like this. I think I should reduce it more <laughs> because I don't want you to also take my ideas. So for the article ideas this is where I document my ideas and <clears throat> documenting my ideas is literally anytime the idea comes like even in the process of making this video I could just get an idea like okay um, make an article uh, for how you use Notion and this is an idea already now depending on the time that i add this sometimes i may have more time to provide context so i can open it like this provide more context this is what i would like to do in this article that is what i would like to do in this article i would also like to reference whatever uh, also put this google link so this is where i just keep notes of what i would like to do in this article but then it depends on the time that i add this article so yeah i can add more details or i could just pick my phone at any point that i am just go to notion add an idea and later on i can come back and add more details to the idea so in this table here i have three views i have all which shows everything i have not published which shows the ones i haven't published and i have published i could actually extend this so you can see all the titles because it doesn't matter i've published them already but yeah this when i publish stuff i come here i publish sometimes i have um sometimes i add tags sometimes i add the links after i publish them some other times as you can see here i forget and um, when i add an article idea okay i think i'll show you this in not publish when i add an article idea because it depends on when i get inspirations if i get the inspiration from like an online maybe i was going through twitter or linkedin i would come here to this resource and i would add relevant links so that when i'm finally ready to write on that topic i can come here to make my research with the knowledge i may currently have so this is the purpose of this resource i think i should also go um, on this one after the other so i have the priority here priority here is between one to five and although i don't always abide by this priority but the purpose of the priority is when i come here i know which one i can easily pick so i have this sort here i've sorted them i've sorted the priority here so it's like from two three four five so if i come and i want to pick an article i can just pick the one with the highest priority but i don't always follow this because sometimes i already have one in my head that i want to write i feel like i really want to write this one already i have the status which can be backlog or i'm currently writing it or it's published i have the summary which i just used to add okay in this article i want to share this and i want to share that or sometimes if I don't want to write the summary, I would just open this here and I would put the summary here. So I can literally put the summary here or here. Then I have the tags and these tags can be React, um, JavaScript, TypeScript. So although I don't use the tags currently, but maybe later on in the future, I can create a different view so that I can show articles for JavaScript, for React and the rest. And um, I already explained what the resource column is for and the link is uh for when i publish the article i can put the link here but i'm surprised why this is here when i've not published it it's probably a mix-up and then i have all these other um, tags these are more of um, relationships with other databases so i'm just going to ignore that so this is pretty much how i use notion to document my ideas and um, whenever i want to pick an article like i said I come to this list, I go through, sometimes I may find the one that is interesting to me, I'd be like, okay, I would love to write this one already. 
uh, but if I have a hard time choosing then I'll just go through the priority and I'll just pick the one from the top like for example this one I'm like okay I'm going to write on this so that's really it uh, there are so many things you can still do with notion there are so many things I also want to do probably add more columns add more information to help me better track um, to help me better track uh, the different content that I create but this is how I currently use notion and um, I hope this also inspires you to you know document your ideas like this and this is not a promotional post for notion but I personally like um, notion so you should give it a try but regardless of the platform you use be it Microsoft Word spreadsheet you can also group your contents in these columns that I also grouped mine so yeah uh, good create amazing content and uh, kindly like this video share it with whoever you feel would it will be beneficial for and if you haven't subscribed already i believe i've given you reasons to subscribe for more content peace